Hello again, folks, and welcome to New Let's Play. This is Vex. I'm your host, the Game of Darius, and, um... Y'all familiar with the formula of Jack and Daxter? The first game I've actually never played 2 and 3. Well, basically it's a collect-a-thon, where you have to collect a bunch of things in order to progress, and the more things that you progress, the better of a sort of ending that you get. Vex is kind of like that, and... I won't lie, I kind of prefer Vex, but at the same time, I think I had Vex bef long before I had Jack and Daxter. And uh, this is being played on the PlayStation 2, Yon, you know, Sony fanboy, however you want to explain it. And um, yeah, this was back in that era of... Apparently I'll die. Back in the era of, um, you know, everyone wanting to make a game kind of like Jack and Daxter, I think. And honestly, can't blame him. It's a good formula. But nowadays, though, I think if you ask anyone, you know, if they've played Vex, and it's like, what, that character from Critical Role? It's like, no. No, it's not that character at all. But, let's start a new game. I'm, um... Gonna go ahead and overwrite this one. Testing purposes, you see. Ah, <sighs> to play the PS2 again. Feels good. I mean, I know it wasn't that long ago that I played another PlayStation 2 game, but still. Feels good. Ours was a sin of pride. Blinded by our ambition, we opened a door better left closed. And loosed hell upon the star of Though seven hundred years have passed, to my lasting sorrow, the terror continues. It began anew when the shadow breaks descended on the peaceful village of Odin. Dark Yaldrin's shadow lands drove the defenseless villagers before them, save the aging guardian of Odin, Vargas, and his grandson. Vex. He finally put out numbers. Vargas and Vex could not stand against Yabu's dark power and were bound in chains with the others. They were forced to toil in the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding their village. Slaves. Beaten by word and whip, Vex endured until his rage became unbearable. He lashed out, attacking his oppressors, but was stopped by the very shadows that answered Yabu's call. Vex would have died then were it not for the sacrifice of his grandfather. Enraged, Yabu turned his powers on Vargas and showed no mercy. After nightfall, vowing revenge, Vex escaped the caves and made his way to the heart of Yabu's windship, intent upon destroying the wraith. Fate, however, would grant him not revenge, but fortune the legendary Astani War Talons. Unable to destroy the powerful artifact, Dark Yabu had hidden them away for years, fearful that they might fall into enemy hands. Vex screamed as the Talons bound themselves to him forever, and his fate to that of all Astani. Anyone else kind of want to make a Hexblade Warlock based around these gloves? All of a sudden? I don't know. D and D stuff popping in my head while loading screens happen. Which could never be held captive in life. 
This level is very purple. It's also the tutorial level, and it's pretty basic stuff. You use the left analog stick to move. Blah, blah, blah. You use the X button to jump. If you, hold, if you press L1 and X at the same time while moving, you will do that little pew jump. And if we want to jump higher, instead of moving, we just hold L1 and X and bam. We do a thing. Tutorials. It's pretty simple. Although I think my comp my uh, computer, my controller is a little bit um, old for this, or new. I'm not sure. So we can go underwater. We can hold the square button down lightly to move slowly, or X, or or uh, yeah, that's the word. Or just hold it down in order to now I try holding it lightly doesn't work now there was something about rising rapidly but I'm not entirely sure what that was oh well totally isn't gonna hinder us through the game uh, steer more pressure oh steer using the left analog stick and tap square rapidly okay and there is an air bubble. Like, it shows on Vex's little bottom left corner there. Whee! You can climb shit if it looks similar to this wall. We can also hold down L1 and X. Well, that's advanced shit. We can also hold L1 and X in order to, like, thrust ourselves up, but I think they don't allow you for the tutorial. Which is kind of silly. And then X to pull yourself up. The X to pull yourself up part is kind of important. And then combos. We can do that. We can do an uppercut, an uppercut, thank you, and ground blast, which is that, and then we can also, like, somersault in the air, pretty cool. Man, I kind of remember uh, in my youth, I just absolutely loved this bit, it all looks so cool. Even if it was just a basic tutorial. Let's see. Ah, yes. And now it explains the collect-a-thon bits. This is a wraith heart. Each one contains the vital essence of a demon. Many of these wraith hearts have split into 100 smaller pieces called shards. If you obtain all 100 shards of Wraith Heart, they will come together of their own accord to reform that Wraith Heart. And we need these Wraith Hearts, because they are pretty much the keys to reach other worlds. And it's not just all, you know, one world. Oh, by the way, this is one of the few games I can remember from my youth using the right analog stick. That said, I... Like, when I was testing out this game and seeing if it was as fun as I remember, I barely used it. So. Yeah. Falling sucks. Falling still sucks. Just collect a hundred of these. And they are strewn about levels. Let me tell you. It'll be a situation of, 
Oh god. Where's the where's the next little shard? And uh it's literally hidden. Like middle of nowhere. Poof. These are known as soul jars. The souls of fallen Astani warriors are imprisoned within these vessels. If you bring six soul jars together, the six freed spirits will reward you with a wraith heart, as of, of a shadow wraith slain by the warriors during the time among the living. Eh. And then there's the wraith heart. Great job, Vex. You can now pick up the wraith heart. You have done well. Beyond this door lies the world in which you alone must use what you have learned to achieve your purpose. For the measure of a person lies not in how one deals with the easiest situations, but rather in what you do when faced with the most hopeless of circumstances. I'm kind of thinking he doesn't believe in me. Whoever the he is. The gloves? The war gloves. Ah... Back among the living, I see. You're a stout one, aren't you? When I found you, I thought you dead, so I brought you here. This chamber is where the past Talon bearers are entombed. Cursed things nearly cut my hands off as I carried you here. Yabu destroyed the village. Everyone is gone except you and old Darby. I'd love to get my hands on that soul-sucking monster. But old Darby can't see so good no more. But you... You could stop him before he opens the door to his world. You could get to the land spire before it's too late. If he opens the rift again, those demons will destroy what little remains of Astara and all of us with it. Then there'll be nothing to stop the wraiths from using the rift to destroy other worlds. It'll have to be you, my boy. Darby can't go with you, but I know an old trick. I can talk to you like this. Head on outside. I can get you started on your way. Head on outside, he says. Start on my way, he says. Can I rest a little bit? I did die. So apparently this is the temple or some such where they worship the or all I K these previous Asari warriors that held the gloves. Freaking badasses. Hmm. Feel like there's a thing in there. Oh well. Wait, that gal might be the coolest. Look at that. Bat wings, talons, freaking sweet looking ponytail. Just saying. It's a cool looking ponytail. Loading. Loading, loading, loading. So much freaking loading. It's the PS2 era. Welcome to Timberdale, Vex. Scattered throughout this land, there are four precious wraith hearts. You must collect them to power up the central gate and progress to the next land. The first wraith heart is found here. You must traverse to the top of the giant tree to collect it. Vex, collect one of the wraith hearts and I'll meet you on the other side of the central gate. Good luck, my friend. And now it saves. And that's an autosave, which it will autosave every single time that we get a Wraith Heart. Now, uh, about the only thing that is a little bit annoying when it comes to this game, too, 
is that it doesn't necessarily save all your progress. For example, if I were to collect like 99 of these shards and then suddenly it's all like, oh hey, here's a wraith heart, and you pick up the wraith heart, you lose the 99 um, shards and then you go pretty much right back to square one and have to recollect all the all the shards again. Which I know that Darby is all like, oh, collect the thing here. Now I, I I'm gonna go for the Wraith Heart. Or uh the shards first. Simply because they're a little bit more out of the way. Oh, so uh much like Jack and Daxter and a little bit like um good old Super Mario sixty four or sixty four? and sunshine and whatnot whatever uh you get hints about collecting some of these other shards there are 10 in each level so you don't necessarily have to get the later ones in the later levels all the time but you know isn't interesting and that is including the ones that you get from the shards and the soul jars so it's more like eight yeah, and yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe. Do do do. I know Darby's all like, ah, get the shower, get the wraith hearts. I'd rather get these ones. Ah, dang it. Yeah, trying to jettison yourself on the wall faster is picky at best, I would say. God damn it. There we go. Let's see. If I find an especially hard Wraith Heart to pick up, I won't say no to it, but... Like, the one Wraith Heart right down... Oh. Can I get that? Oh. Jerk. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of that in this. Just, oh, hey, I'm just chilling on this edge here, and then BAM! Also, you can uh, do the somersault after doing... Uh, you can do the somersault after doing the... Circle... Jump... There... Thing, my bob. Which will give you more height. And... So you might be wondering to yourself, hey Dar, what is it with these enemies? Uh, I don't know about the enemies themselves. But I do know that they drop health, that's what that little orby ball is. The, which our health is indicated by the uh, yellow to red balls that are on the bottom left there. As well as my lives. This game does have lives. Only a mildly irritating system. I say mildly, I mean very. Oh, there's a soul jar. Nope, frick. God damn it. You do take fall damage too. Oh, God damn it. I can't see shit. Um. Excuse me? I... Bex, I just need to get out of the water, buddy. <sighs> okay. Kind of remembering the movement controls of this now being a little bit jank. But it's alright. It's cool. It's fine. Uh, but yeah. Every single time... That... Just go up, Bex. Every single time that you hit an enemy, you see that plus one flying off to that meter over to the side. That ac as accesses some sort of power thing? That makes it so as you can pretty much blast shit for a small period of time. But once it's empty, you pretty much have to fill it back up again. 
Which is like, alright. Let me collect these ones first. Hello. Also, for a quick frame of reference, I've not played this in like... A decade plus. That's kind of the situation when it comes to most of these, uh... PlayStation 2 games. What's in here? Hmm. Try to collect all the shards. What do I do? Wander off into places unknown. Have I just dicked myself? Okay, no, I still have the 25, 24. I don't, I don't feel like I should be here yet. For one, it doesn't look like I should be here. Like some sort of a boss arena. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a long ass pimp time. And what I do remember of this game is pretty much just Timberdale. Oh. Oh, this is also part of Timberdale. Okay. Give me your health. If you time it right, you can pretty much hit these guys before having to worry about taking any damage. It's just a little bit annoying to try to do so. Hmm. And yes, that is an alien. Oh. Where am I even going here? I didn't realize that there was going to be loading zones within loading zones. Good lord, I, I'm just here for the shards, guys. Oh, come on. We got a little bit of a slippy slidey situation here. For love of frick. Oh, was that seriously not... I went fine. Oh. Didn't mean to do that, but alright. Gets me to where I'm trying to go. Can't complain. And hit. There's now a rope that has a solid pole. Alright. Right back up into water. Alright. Oh, come on. I don't know what that did. Wait, is that it? What? No, what? That's fine. I'm at 50. Maybe I have to collect more things. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether or not I regret the idea of playing this game or not yet. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a thing from my childhood. I just don't remember too well if it was a good thing from my childhood, you know? Like playing, um... Rings of Power. That was another one I played. It was an experience playing it again. Certainly, um... Like, three episodes or so into that game was more than I think I've ever beaten as a kid. Okay. I hate these Wonder Water mechanics right now, by the way. Partially... Because they don't feel good. And partially because my controller is not fully working so that I can use the slow 
swimming option while underwater. Maybe I should go back to the main hub of this place because it's a lot more fun. <laughs> of Timberdale. And murder. Or was that it? Is are these the only two places? Oh no. What? Okay. I think I'm understanding whatever gimmick is here. I have to go through those in order to do a thing. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Eh. I don't fully remember what happens if you completely... Like, if you let that air bubble move completely around the thing. I think it's just like you take a bit of damage. Don't want to risk it. Because <laughs> that's how physics works. Alright. And that was that one. So I think for the time being we're done here. Because I say so. I want to collect the other, what, 48 shards? I want to do the re... Hmm... I was about to say I want to do the relatively easy shards and yet here I am doing something I'm thinking is not relatively easy anymore. Oh. Oh, their invisi platforms are revealed. Oh, don't you, don't you give me that guff. Man, I did not remember the music from this game at all. Hmm. Games like we can do physics too. I think no. Oh, haha. -ha. Oh, that was that was devious. Okay. I'm good. I'm fine. Heh <laughs> Jerk. Or am I the jerk? Hmm. I think I might be the jerk in that situation. I don't want to jump for an extra life right now. I'd rather not need to jump for an extra life. Oh, God. 66. I think my only real saving grace is that I only take damage, as far as I remember, from falling. I don't die. This one just... Oh, yep. This is easier. Trust me. You know, this music is actually surprisingly super chill. To me, anyways. Because I ha I also apparently have a weird definition of super chill. Did that just reset everything? Kidding me? Right, so let's go back to Timberdale. <sighs> I do not remember dying also resetting those, but apparently I know very little about this game, evidently. I'm just, uh, 
Now I go back to Timberdale. I'm suddenly starting to think on rethink on playing this game. Because I doubt that I would reset the Wraith Hearts upon my death. Sweet Jesus, if it were. If it also does that with the Wraith Hearts upon my death? No. Well, okay. So we were told by Darby in order to. Um, all right there. We gotta climb this tree in order to make uh, progress. Stupid alien. I'm not even sure why aliens are an enemy in this. Demons, I get. Aliens, what the hell. It's fine. The first heart is literally the easiest to gather if you actually listen to Darby. It's just a matter of uh, beating the ever loving snot out of everything along the way. And getting right up there to the top right. And this is one of those. God, I've always kind of hated some of the platforming in this game now that I think about it. Alright, let the next rock go. And just get on up here. Wraiths are like cockroaches. Nearly impossible to kill. Even if you do kill one, the heart never disappears. The Mister. Huzzah! We got our first heart. Suddenly it feels like that the shard ones are a lot harder to get simply because it's like, oh, collect a hundred of these without dying. Soul shards less so. I think you just need to remember where the soul shards are. But I digress. A long time ago, the wraiths drained all of the energy from the rift system. Couldn't resist feeding on its power. The hearts are still full of energy that can be used to power the gates. Go ahead and put the heart into the portal in front of you. Once you put enough hearts into the portal, you'll be able to open the rift to new locations. Get to it, lad. Every moment that passes brings that devil one step closer to reopening the door to the Shadow World. Be careful. Shadow wraiths are shape changers. Trust no one along your journey. Oh, that doesn't feel like foreshadowing in the slightest. I don't know what you're talking about, Darby. And yeah, this is, uh... That's pretty much the basics of this game. Go around, collect the hearts, return here, repeat. Uh, don't die. That's pretty much the basics of it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we got more hearts to collect, and I'm going to try to go for the 100 shards again. Hopefully I can just do it around Timberdale because um, I don't like those other areas. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this journey as much as I am and as always I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.